In this video, we will continue solving formulas, this time solving multi-step formulas. Our strategy is still going to be exactly the same as before. We will solve these multi-step formulas the same as linear equations. As we do, we will treat all other variables like numbers, and our final answer will be an expression. So let's try an example here, solving this formula for x. If all of the other letters were numbers, what we would do first would be to take care of the number in front of parentheses. There are two ways we can do this. The most common way that we've done before is to distribute the a through the parentheses. This gives us 3xa plus ab equals by. Now that the parentheses are gone, we're ready to start solving for the x. Notice, the second term has no x's on it. That's what's added to the x term. As with other two-step equations, we do the adding and subtracting first. The opposite of adding a, b is subtracting a, b. And we always do things on both sides of the equation. With the a, b's gone, we're left with 3x, a on the left side. On the right side, it's important to note that these are not like terms and cannot be combined. So we leave it as a subtraction problem, b, y minus a, b. Now, we are ready to get our variable alone. Remember, we're solving for x, so we need to divide out the other factors. Divide out a 3, and divide out an a. Doing the same thing to both sides, and the 3's and a's divide out, leaving just the x behind. x is now alone, and it's equal to the expression b, y minus a, b over 3, a. It is important to note that although we have an a in the denominator and the numerator, we cannot divide the a out because of the subtraction in the problem. If there is any adding or subtracting in a fraction, we cannot do any reducing. Let's try another example. In this next problem, you'll notice we also have parentheses that need to be dealt with first. Again, we will distribute through the parentheses as we begin. This gives us 3a plus 6b plus 5b equals negative 2a plus b. As usual, after distributing, we can check to combine like terms. On the left side of the equation, you'll notice there's 6b plus 5b. When we combine those, we now have 3a plus 11b. The right side is still negative 2a plus b. Remember, we're solving this equation for a. Notice the a is on both sides of this equation. Just as before, we will get all the a's on the same side by moving the smaller term. The negative 2 is smaller than the positive 3, so we will move that one. The opposite of subtracting 2 is adding 2a to both sides. As we do, we line up the like terms, and we now have 5a plus 11b equals b. We solve this two-step equation first by getting rid of the term without a. The opposite of plus 11b is minus 11b. This time, you notice that on the right side, we have like terms that can be combined. We now have 5a equals negative 10b. To get the a alone, we simply have to get rid of the 5 by dividing both sides by the 5. The 5's divide out, and we're left with a equals negative 2b. As we solve these formulas, we remember that we treat the other variables like numbers, and our answer is an expression.